Hello, this has been a Happy American Action. I'm here with Noah Kahan's deluxe version of his album Stick Season that I reacted this maybe like three or four weeks ago. I didn't realize he was dropping a deluxe until you guys let me know that deluxe was coming. So deluxe has come and gone. I've finally gotten some time to be able to sit down, react to it. Well, I haven't reacted to it. I'm about to react to it. The deluxe, it will all be here forever in brackets. Now there is seven more songs. He's giving us another 28 minutes to an already hour long album, which is epic. I'm very, very keen for the view between villages, the extended version. I'm like, what is he? added how is it going to be if you want to check out my reactions to the original or the standard edition of the songs they are on my channel or on patreon all my uncuts are there you guys have said i did to get into it i love reading all your comments about the original album and just how it made you feel and how you connected to it and a bit more information about each song i have no idea what to expect i know these songs are all a bit shorter so i guess that's the major difference so far but other than that i have no idea what to expect other than the same kind of vibe but knowing it came out i think it's about a year or so after so i'm wondering if these songs were already there and they just don't make the cut or if they've been added on so it's going to be interesting to see i guess how it flows on from the original album. We need one, even though it's not the type of album you want to get hyped up for, but it's, it, it yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get straight into it. The opening song of the deluxe edition. So we've just obviously finished with The View Between Villages. Now we're moving into your needs, my needs. Let's go. It's like we never left the little town. We're back here. Oh, well, who's I, who's I to watch you? Wilts. Trace the outlines of your dreams. Will always be a flower on my skin. <laughs> and the pain that I am in. And the pain that I'm in, these lyrics. Losing touch the waiting game. I love that subtle guitar just there the whole time. Promise to be fair this time. It just makes you want to cry, just the... <laughs> it's just... Yeah, I love his voice, the lyrics, the sounds. You were a work of art. You were a work of art. Let's go! Even the album cover now, just like that more grey kind of vibe, him running with the dogs that we saw at the first album. It's crazy because when I first listened to it, it was like raining and today it's just like so freaking cold. I'm like in my hoodie, I'm in my little feels. Loved it, the power in that, just like build up now. Doof, 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 doof. Love that. I love songs that just list words or lyrics and things like that. Yeah, your needs, my needs. So, I mean, I don't know what it's about, like past relationships, things that have happened, I guess that reflective piece again. But wow, I don't normally like deluxe songs or deluxe albums. I just, I knew I would like this because I love the project so much and this just still feels like we're there but not but yes but no oh my god what a way to open it up it definitely feels like a like a page turn you've turned the page after between the villages and then we're here for this i'm so keen i'm just yeah it just i don't know it just speaks to your soul on such a different level can i wait for you guys to let me know what you think about the songs what they're about how they made you feel what you think about it all that jazz down below the next song is dull drunk let's go i mean the lyrics sad but let's go about it, forget about it, whatever. 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 Oh, all the points. I'm proud of all the fun that I've grown. Someone I know I Better in. Not let the pain metastasize. When the dark 
where's the hoedown? Let's go! Give me my blood alcohol or off with all the burnouts in the cell Son, you know you a danger to yourself Fuck that sir, just let me call Give me my blood alcohol or burnouts in the cell Such a like, angry kind of side of it and I said Oh my god. Uh, I dull drunk, I'll die a drunk, I'll die for you. What the hell? So perfectly done. Lyrics, perfection, storytelling, ability, insanity. You see it all, you vibe it, you feel it. Like I said, you just want to rock out and just like be like boot scooting with your cowboy hat and boots on, but like the lyrics are just so hitting and so just so good. <laughs> And while I'm like laughing and having fun, it's just because it just sounds so good. It just like fills you with happiness, but also sadness because you're just like, oh my God, like I want to just cry for you. And it's just so sad. I love it. That's absolutely my favorite so far. Oh my God. Sick. Love a good swear word. Love a good anger. This definitely feels very separate from the album and the deluxes just do that anyway for me. But this just feels like a good continuation or like just another chapter of a book that's been lost somewhere. We've picked it up and now we're reading it. I love it. Next song is called Paul Revere. Let's go. I love the instrument usage. Every song has its own little identity from the start. So pretty. Mailboxes until my house. This place had a heartbeat. And stay. Oh, gives you those old, old town feels. That license plates live for your guy. But it just ain't that simple. It never was. One day I. short and took a bit of a weird turn towards the end. Yeah, it kind of definitely gave me the feel of, I don't know who Paul Revere is, I'm going to guess he's like some car racer as soon as he said he's going to ride like him. Definitely gave me that feel of wanting to be something or make something and prove people wrong, but then maybe realizing that you're never going to, never going to, I guess, like become anything or that you're never going to get out of this rut that you're in. Interesting one, very like, yeah, I don't know, definitely kind of a bit different. Love the production, I'm stunning. Yeah, nice. A bit more chill, I suppose, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Next song is No Complaints. Let's go. Do I mean every song starts so different? That's stunner. Thought I had something, and that's the same as having something. I get mad at nothing, blame my dad for something. I'm pulling a wee bit of hope to sleep, use me the pain and just showed up. I said, Time tonight, showed up. Is that like someone who's like injuring themselves, or, like fighting? Just like a middle 
Yeah. Fill the hole in my this. prescription medication. If I got how to cry, who am I to complain? Oh my god, that's one of my favorites. I don't know if. The only critique I'd give it so far is they're not long enough the song, which is crazy because obviously, you know, they're hitting that three and a half near four minute mark. The standard album had a lot of longer songs, but this one, oh my God, just that almost a victim shaming yourself. Like he's saying he's filled up the hole in his head with this stuff. So who is he to complain now that he can't cry? But I guess it's a lot of the things we do to ourselves to so almost feel like we can't complain or can't feel bad for ourselves because maybe we've put ourselves in certain situations. That's just how I took it anyway. I think, yeah. For me, definitely it was like a more of a more of like a reflection on your own stuff and almost like blaming yourself for the way things have gone, even if they were beyond your control. Or maybe things have just happened because you put yourself in a situation, but it doesn't mean you wanted certain things to happen. I love that it's like I can't I can't cry anymore, so who am I to complain when I did this to stop myself feeling? I love that. I love, 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 love that. That's the best song for me. So second best, I think. One of the best for me so far. Oh my God. I definitely feels so different, but I love it. I can't wait to listen to the album now. Just like all bloody 21 songs straight through, but I'm loving this little standalone version of it for sure. Next song is Call Your Mom. Please do not go down this route of this stuff. If it's going to go down that route, because it will kill me. Let's go. Pull your spine, but then again. Don't you cancel any plan Cause I won't let you get the chance Throw on the line you the entire night To get Stop. Let it out and let it in Don't let this darkness fool you I'll try, I'll cry <laughs> All night I'll call your mom Stop stuff that I was thinking about but oh my god like so relatable in terms of like your own thoughts compass like literally I can just picture my friend talking to me like this when I was like 15 or 16 just heavy heavy content um, that I'll call your mum line absolutely kills me like someone having to make that call or like, yeah, like they're pleading, they're like saying you've got so much to live for. Yeah. Let's move on. But the song's stunning. The song is beautiful. It's, that is, that's a song that like, I've never really heard before, but just is so relatable to me. 
in so much of my life. The next song is You're Gonna Go Far, which I love. I really hope this is, yeah, I don't know, just like something to inspire us and to give us some hope to keep going. Let's go. Please, please lift us up. The only time I got to praying for a red light is when I saw your destination as a dead line. It's just only conversation. <laughs> college kids are getting so young, they they correcting all the grammar on a spray paint. <laughs> and I even, ooh, you'll be far, ooh, you'll be far from here. That I, ooh, you'll be far, far from here. Sad. Pack up your car, put a hand in your heart. We ain't angry at you, love. You're the greatest thing we've lost. Like someone leaving the town. Still the boat, you still fight the boat, you still creep the leaves, you still die. We ain't angry at you, love. Oh my God. We'll be waiting for you, love. It's that season finale, a main character leaving, everyone is crying, they don't want to go, but they've got to go because they got to go to go far. I love that. It's going to roll into the view between villages, the extended version, which already for me felt like a leaving town kind of vibe song. So it's that perfect flow in. Love that one. Absolutely kind of got you in the first half because you're still obviously in that call your mom vibe and it feels like, no, I don't want to go. But then you kind of come to terms with it. No, if you want to go far, you got to go far. I love just the transition you feel within the song. The track listing is just perfectly flowing for me. Like it just... I don't know, I don't know, I just, I don't know, he just speaks to me on another level and I can't believe I only found him like a month ago, but already I'm just so in tune and just in sync with what he gives you, it just is perfection. Alright, we're here at the last song, The View Between Villages, the extended version. I am so keen to hear this song again, I'm so keen to hear the extended version, I'm so keen for it, I'm so keen to wrap this up, and I'm also very sad that we're already at the end, and this only just came out, so I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to wait ages for another release from him. However, I do have the back catalogue, which I know you guys have said I should get on to, which I definitely will be at some point in life. <laughs> Let's wrap it up. Let's go. <sighs> it's so... Nice, standing. Air in my lungs <laughs> till the road begins. Oh, just the bugs. You know those songs that just get ya? Their homes again. Like I know the meaning is just what I I just give it a right, well, I, I think I might just turn it up and not talk because what's there to say? The world. 17 again. Literally that time period in your life. I've got dreams again. on this side and now for the extended version on the right it is that type of oh let's go what else 
else is coming, give it to me, please. Well, I, for me personally, not voice memo. I found a town big enough for anything, and I, I mean, I'm not a city girl <laughs> by any means. Traffic is still has a lot of meetings to me because I grew up there. Well, I guess it's a small, small community of uh, people that look out for each other. And that's the same way with anybody that needs anything. It's this community is there to help. Left at the graveyard, I'm driving past ghosts. The arms are extended, my eyes start to close. That alone, but not even that alone. The voice memos, who the hell are they? But oh my god, how can oh my god, the fact that the original was released and it left you there going, What the hell? And now this just feels like it's such a completion. Like I said, it feels like we found the next page in this song. Absolutely fully rounds it, fully finishes it, just makes it such a fully fledged song. Holy moly, that song is absolutely one of the best songs I've ever heard in my life. That will go into like my all time favorite list of all time. Oh my god, those voice memos, just the perfection of that small town vibe, Americana, just everything. Not even Americana. I just everything I relate to that so much having grown up in small towns <sighs> I don't even know where to begin obviously I've loved every single song oh the view between villages extended absolutely perfection absolutely one of the best I think the only one that really was Paul Revere where I was like oh it kind of threw me a bit but I guess it did what it needed to do as well but like your needs my needs draw dunk no complaints call your mum the view between villages the four standouts for me but the other three were just so good as well holy moly I don't think I've ever had a deluxe edition of like 87 songs alone is crazy I mean that's like an EP length anyway but just an additional part to the story of everything. It, it's all so cohesive. I love that the view between villages is there and then you will hear it again when you obviously listen to the likes and it will give you that like completion of everything. So beautifully done, it's so perfectly crafted. The track listing, everything like that is just stunner. I definitely feel that some of these songs are so much stronger than some of the album songs and I don't know if that's just because they're more concise or just the intensity of all seven of them together. I don't know. I'm, I, like I said, I'm very keen now to go back and listen to the album, just run through. I was listening to it today before I jumped into the deluxe. So yeah, I'm very keen now to have the deluxe as like the complete bit of work. I guess it's not called deluxe, which I love. I love that it's just stick season. We'll all be here forever, which is obviously a little homage to you're going to go fast. So I love that it doesn't have that deluxe title because it really is is it a deluxe? I don't think. I think it's just a continuation or another piece of the puzzle of the story, whatever you want to call it. I'm forever grateful that I was on TikTok Live and someone recommended this to me. I'm forever grateful that you guys let me know about the deluxe. I'm forever grateful that I got onto it and I've got these songs and I've connected with them and, you know, connecting with you guys. Please, please, please give me all your thoughts down below, your favorite songs, the song's meanings, or what did they make you feel, or yeah, anything in between. Full on cut to this, some of my other reactions all on Patreon. If you want to support me, links are down below. Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. You know where it is. Other than that, how are we going to get around? I'm Guru. Okay, he's gonna go.